Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Sino-European Economic and Political Relationship Strategy released Childbirth soars as Ireland enters a baby boom Update on horse meat as the scandal goes global Further pressure on Tory party for EU referendum Plus, it's time, the tidal wave of economic collapse is upon us It's time to be afraid be very afraid. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our legislation section. EU initiative report on the strategic policy with regard to the European Union's relationship with China. This is going to be a tough and no doubt costly report to implement as the disparity between EU state architecture and those of the Chinese are vastly different. Areas such as democratic rights, free speech and human rights are surely going to be sticking points. This article is decidedly readable and well worth an overview as we'll be covering the legislative proposals as they develop. Childbirth is booming in Ireland, the country now has the highest percentage of children in the expanded European Union. This article considers some of the challenges this is likely to pose for Ireland's development as it looks to shake off the economic problems of the past. Despite an open return to the bond markets, Ireland still has large structural problems economically, particularly in the employment and property sector. This article has the full details. The horsemeat scandal is still rumbling in the tummies of the media and indeed this article reveals that the reach of the scandal goes well beyond the borders of the EU. Perhaps slightly less evocative than our later stories, however it turns out that the EU has opened a can of worms, well a, a can of horsemeat to be accurate. This story takes an in-depth look at the extensive reach this issue has had across the global horsemeat industry. Further pressure on David Cameron as he meets with Linton Crosby and other Conservative MPs to discuss the strategy for 2015. It's clear that the people of Britain are getting ever more restless with the situation of the EU. And of course, now that the situation is really starting to bite home, this only increases the requirement for Mr Cameron to take some action towards giving the British public a democratic voice about the EU. Yesterday I provided a reminder about the root cause of the European economic crisis and its relationship with the global banking crisis. I pointed out clearly that these debt problems are not as a result of the people of Europe having gone out partying on champagne and caviar, but was in fact brought about by bankster gamblers treating the global investment market like a crack party. However, it's still the general public that get to shoulder the hangover. Well, this article takes a grim view of the situation because here we have a government setting the precedent that it is legal and acceptable to freeze the banking economy of a country for four days whilst it makes a decision as to how it's going to take, nay steal, up to 10% of the general population's savings. This sets a completely new low in the Eurozone and demonstrates that these Bruswellian kleptocrats will consider all kinds of despicable actions. Written by Trevor Coleman, MEP, this article is an absolute must-read. Today in our video library, latest updates on the position in Cyprus as savers stand to lose up to 10% of their savings. The UK government has guaranteed to refund the levy taken for civil servants and the military by coughing up taxpayers' cash. All in all, a very grim state of affairs. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit, And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And our The Word programme is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Finally, we now have a brand new live and interactive show that you can be involved with. 
The Unit Interactive Show begins this Friday night at 9pm. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com, for those of you that follow us on Google+, you can also be part of this show using Google Hangouts. Simply join our community, The Unit, on Google+, and I will send you an invite to join the show. Links to the community page are below. Rick Timmis for The Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>